deep uh, angle mount is the evacuated tube solar collector. Um, those are uh, twin wall glass tubes uh, that, that make up uh, the collector. There's a vacuum between the glass walls, so they perform really well in cold weather um, uh, because they don't lose ambient heat to the, to the atmosphere. One thing I wanted to point out too, this is an asphalt shingle roof. Um, the rack is all stainless steel. It's really important um, for you to make sure uh, that your installation is made with materials that are going to last for at least 20 years. That's the, the, life, the minimum life of these systems. So that's a stainless steel rack. It's an aluminum header. They're Pyrex glass tubes and it's stainless steel hardware with silicone sealant um, and flashing at the mounting points. So uh, it's a really difficult environment to, to build structures that are going to last for a long time and be watertight. So I just wanted to mention it's really important um, if you install or you have uh, solar collectors installed on your house to uh, make sure you're informed about the quality of the materials. Okay. Um, I wanted to show you um, what the evacuated tubes look like and how they function. These are, um, the, here's one, uh, an array of 10 tubes. The one we saw on the house is 20 tubes. So it's about twice this size. And of course the tubes are running vertically instead of horizontally like these. But this is actually uh, one of the tubes. And as you might notice, um, or, or you might be able to see that there's actually two layers of glass uh, in each one of the evacuated tubes and they're sealed and they ha there's a vacuum space between the two layers of glass and, and the selective coating, the coating that actually absorbs heat is on the inner layer of glass. So what happens is the sun strikes the tube, um, heat is generated on the inside layer which heats up this copper pipe. Um, this copper pipe is hollow. It has a tiny little bit of water in it, about a teaspoon. And the temperatures generated inside this tube um, are very high. They can uh, get as high as 350 to 450 degrees in as little as five minutes of direct sun. And so what happens is that the water, which is captive, uh, it's, it's closed, it's sealed inside this copper tube, turns to steam because they are mounted at an angle like this on the roof, the steam rises up into this little bulb here. This bulb is then uh, inserted in the manifold that's on top of the roof and these are where the water is, um, uh, uh, the glycol, the antifreeze is routed through the manifold and it picks up heat mechanically from the ends of these tubes and that's what heats the loop. So uh, contrary to popular opinion, uh, the evacuated tubes actually do not have any coolant in them. Uh, it's purely a mechanical system to uh, collect radiation, transfer that radiation in the form of heat to this tube which is made of copper and then this copper element basically sticks into a socket which uh, is part of the circulation loop for the for the glycol. So it's a uh, it's a relatively straightforward system. Um, they were developed about 10 years ago, and they work really well, uh, particularly in cold climates.